Casey Wimberly for four years. And I had a friend that worked in this department, mm -hmm. and I came down to visit him actually at this station. And I saw the trucks and the guys hanging out and what kind of what life was like for them down here. And I was actually doing a, I was worked in science before this. So I was kind of stuck inside every day. Same thing over and over again. 29. I was out, I'd been out for a while and working in that field for a while and I kind of got burned out on it. Just being stuck inside. I wanted to be outside, be a little bit more active. So I kind of came down and talked to him, saw what this job was like. Um, just the chance to help out kind of, and serve the community. The schedule is a, is a good bonus. It's good for 24 hours, but then that means that we're, we have, it seems like, more whole days off because we work at night. So it, it opens up our schedule for doing other things during the day. Uh, we, we just we see a lot of bad car wrecks. Yeah. So, and it, yeah, it was around. Yeah, you know, fires are bad too, but it was, uh, it was close to Halloween. It was close to Halloween, and it was, I don't know, it, just, it kind of fit Halloween in the whole time. No, I have not ran into that yet where I've seen somebody that I knew on a call, luckily. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, a, it was a, a rollover or a cart that ended up into a tree, and the guy, he didn't make it. There was only one. So, you know, it's, at the end of it, it kind of looked like... Or like a horror yeah. you picture as being a horror movie, but you're right there, yeah. and, and we see it all the time. Guys see it all the time, but you just you jump in and you go to work. It's just yeah. you don't you don't think about it then. You just go to work. In the beginning, when you're on your way to call yeah. and your first first calls, you know you're, you're excited about going and you, you don't know what's out there. And... No, the the first fire I went into. Uh, there was fire over our head, and so we started spraying overhead, and, and uh, so the sheetrock and stuff, the ceiling was kind of, was falling on my head, and at first, my instinct was, I was nervous because something's falling on your head, so I'm thinking the ceiling, the roof's caving in, mm -hmm. and but luckily I had a good captain that said, don't, it's just sheetrock, you're, it's fine, mm -hmm. you know, you're good, let's just knock this down, so it, it's too hard to predict, we don't know. My last call, about an hour ago. Somebody thought it was just a, a possible stroke. See, the majority of what we do anymore, what the fire service does, is answer medical calls. Uh, before that, it was an all-volunteer station that was just a single level, single-story mm -hmm. station. But in the flood of 1993, it was completely under water. Oh, wow. They demolished it, and then I think it sat a little bit before they built it in 2001. So when they wanted to do it, they wanted to make sure that it was tall enough and they wanted to have the bay above where that water level was. Mm -hmm. But you could move everything out and just power wash to clean it out. These are our oh. living quarters and stuff. We call this our day room mm -hmm. in there so we can do our clothes. This is usually, mm -hmm. especially in the summertime, we're going to get sweaty. Yeah. We're, we, our shift starts at 7 and then we leave at 7 the next morning. The way our schedule works is we work alternating 24-hour shifts for five days so if you were B shift is green so if our shift starts on Tuesday we'll work Tuesday Thursday and Saturday and then we'll get four days off and it, it comes out to be about 10 or 11 days a month so it's, it's different to get used to but once you do it's easy. this is the firefighters office so computer we do computer training often this is the captain's office right here yeah. <laughs> this is our bunker. It's our living quarters. Just a small little bed, just enough to lay down. Okay. The crews that work down here are pretty tight. Yeah. Three at a time. So there's three on duty here at all times. Pretty close. Since we're here for 24 hours. And, and it's so small, there's no places to hide from each other. We're all qualified to drive, but there's usually a, a main driver and then the captain who's in charge of the truck, the whole truck. And then the third guy, the Firefighter in the back seat is usually in charge of medical. On this crew, normally I'm the guy, the firefighter in the back, so I'm usually kind of in charge of the EMS. If, in the driver's job, if we run a fire, he stands, he stays with the truck and pumps the truck. The captain and I would go inside to put our 